Hi everyone! Today I'm making salt dough and I'm here with Anna and Elsa. Hello there girls! Hello there! Looks like you're all ready to make salt dough. Yes, I found the shape that I want. I want to make a beautiful crown. Wow, that is a cool shape. That's really good choice. And Anna, are you ready to roll it with your rolling pin? Yes! Salt dough is really easy. It's basically just flour and salt and water and then you get a dough like this and you can make whatever you want out of it. I'll just show you how we made the dough yesterday. Welcome back everyone. Did you know it's really tough work rolling out sword dough? Look at this. I have to really press it down like that. Yes, it looks a bit hard, Anna. I'm all worn out with this. It looks hard, Anna. Ask, let's play princess for help. Yes, may you please help me? Okay, I'll give you a hand. You know what girls, this is even a little bit hard for me to do. It's quite tough. I think it's good to help get an adult to help with this. There we go girls, finally we've got two pieces. Thank you so much. Let's make the crowns. Yes, let's make the crowns. And here we have the crown cutter. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on and press them out. Here we go girls, there's your two crowns. Wow, they're so pretty. Can we decorate them now? Well, the thing is with salt dough, it's better to dry it first. So we're gonna dry them in the oven for about two or three hours on a low heat. Two or three hours, that's ages. I know, but it will go quickly. Let's go for a walk while, while they dry and then we'll come back later. Okay then, I can't wait to decorate them. So I've pierced some holes in the crowns with a straw and then I rested them on half a potato each to give them a slightly curved edge so they can be worn hopefully. If you don't have a crown shape, it's quite simple to make one yourself. You just cut along. You have to make a simple crown shape. Like this. And then with the knife, just cut some points. If you want the crowns curved, you can just use something like a potato to rest the dough on and while you dry it. So here you are girls, here are your crowns and they're dried. And look, this one's worked, it's been nice and curved so it will fit on your head hopefully. And here's the other design. The one that we cut out without a cutter that also looks super good so which one are we going to decorate first oh can we do mine first i want the first kind this one okay elsa let's do this one first for you what kind of gems would you like on i'd like these clear gems please oh okay and let's also give it some patterns okay let's get going with this one
So this is the finished crown for Elsa. I hope she's going to like it. I'm going to use a thin ribbon to thread through the holes so she can wear it. Now it's time to do my crown. Yes, Anna, and you want this one? Yes, please. Okay, now let's decorate this one for you. It's going to be super pretty. but I'm not quite happy with this crown. I decided I think I need something else. I've decided to do yellow on there. What do you guys think? I think that will work. Let's, look, let's try it anyway. So I added some yellow and I like it better now. I hope Anna will like it. Let's get some ribbon on and let's get these crowns tested out. Hello again, girls. Hello, little princess. So here we've got your crowns and they're all finished. Look at them. I absolutely love them. And I put some ribbon through the holes so they can stay on your head like that. So shall we try them on? Yes, please. They look so pretty. I know. Let me get them on you and then we'll see what they look like. There you go, girls. What do you think of your new crowns? I love my crown. That is so beautiful. That is so pretty. And what do you think of yours, Anna? Wow, I love it. It's so nice. I know, you guys look absolutely amazing with those crowns on. Look at that. You look like real princesses. And it was really fun choosing the colours and the designs for them too. So now we know how we can make salt dough crowns. Oh, I want to do this again one day. Yes, maybe we should do it again. But for now, let's say goodbye to everyone. Bye-bye.